Hi, this is Chen. In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can use in PhotoBees 7, version 7, um, the coloring tool. In PhotoBees 7, the coloring tool is much improved. The color wheel now is more flexible. So you can just scroll and find out the color you want, and you can adjust that color very easily. Um, and you can use the color palette to feel feel the color. To see here. Also, there are some hex decimal code here for um, for some referencing. Um, all those color palette um, can be saved, and you can load different color palette as well. And also, it shows the color list. If you click on color list, it's going to show you all the color list that you can choose from, which gives the user the, the color name, so you can remember those names very easily. Um, for the color palette, um, you can save the color palette to different one, and you can load the color palette as well. Um, and if you have a color you want to add to the color palette, all you need to do is make sure the color is here, shows here. Um, in the in the color, in the primary color place, and you press, pointing your mouse to the uh, any grid you want, and press A to add that. See how easy to add. If you don't want it, press D to do that. A to add, D to do it. Simple, right? So let's say I can add it. I can add another one, and you can save. Set current pad. Next time when you load, it will be there. So it's pretty simple. Now, see, <laughs> my daughter likes coloring. That's one of the reason I improved the coloring too much, so she can use it. Um, so she's very little, <laughs> but she already know how to do the coloring very well. Um, in the in the photo, be there is a bucket field too. So. You can easily pick up the color you want. Now you can use a bucket field to fill the, the color. I have an image actually downloaded from the website just for this demo purpose. Um, you can find a lot of similar um, coloring template in Google or somewhere else. Um, and once you download any of those, you can open those. You see all the, anything in, enclosed by any like, solid. Um, lines and you can use in bucket fill to fill the color in, inside. So I use my bucket fill, make sure you're pointing to the, the place you want to fill. Simple with click, I got a color there. Um, the one thing I use in feather, if I don't use in feather too, the color will be more solid. So the feather allow it to choose the range of sensitive so you can feel this a different way. And also, you can apply the texture as well. See, um, if I don't want, to, um, actually, I use blue here. Um, I use blue here, but I override by my, my apply texture because I'm using this texture. So I can uncheck that. Now I want to bl apply blue on this one. See how you see the blue there? If I choose a different one, I'm going to the other color. But the texture, you can apply texture well. See, if I can use in the patterns. See, I want to use this time pattern. You can click on that, make sure you select that because there are two options. Um, you'll see how you feel the pattern inside. Um, and you can use in the texture, image texture. See, I have some kind of special image here I can want to use. I want to use this kind. See uh, how the result. See, you got texture there as well. So it's very easy uh, to get in. Also, um, sometimes you can use the gradient color as well. Let me see, using the force, um, single, I'm using 40. So, the kind of <laughs> this is a very interesting one. Um, if I don't use an apply texture, let's see what happens. Uh, hmm. Oh, there's gradient checkbox here. Um, if I use a checkbox, see how this applied.
all the gradient color applied. So <laughs> there's just really a lot of options you can use. Mm. In Photobay also you can use an airbrush um, to add the color. See, so, yeah, I can use this color to add and just draw this color in. Um, and again, it's just so many options you can do. Um, another thing in Photobay uh, I want to show you is that um, you can use kind of the coloring makeup too to give some kind of smaller detailed color. So you can use it, say I want this part to be red part, but I don't want it to apply immediately. So you have a pressure or a bunch of options. So you can just you know, just dra draw there. Um, make sure I'm drawing that layer. I'm um, using red color. Um, so I can use it. I don't know if pressure, you, you want to go high pressure, 9. So, let me see, apply or apply the original image. Okay, so now I can do that. See how they get applied. Um, you do the pressure 4. The reason uh, original doesn't work is I have to select the layer I want to apply that. Otherwise, if you have a layer that has nothing to on that, the color makeup doesn't do anything because it's originally blank. Um, so in photo B, so you'll see all this layer manager here. It shows the name as well. If you want to show the thumbnail, just simply click on that. Again, we uh, already showed that in photo B, you can minimize these um, toolbars very easily by clicking on this border. Um, you can show multiple image here as well, the thumbnail image here as well. So you can switch different between different images uh, very easily. Um, okay, um, this is a basic introduction about the coloring tool. So it's very straightforward. And let me know if you have any question. Just uh, email me to photobee at yahoo.com or log into our website and sign up to our forum. Um, thank you. Bye.